boy. Starting to get swarm. Holy mackerel. But dude, you're like covered in bees right now, man. Oh my gosh, my legs are shaking. A light breeze drifts across the desert sand as morning sun crests above the mountains. All seems calm amongst the rocky outcrops, yet nestled down between the cracks and ridges, a powerful giant quietly slumbers. To disturb this creature by accident would be a literal nightmare. Disturb it intentionally, and you will likely seal your own fate. Oh boy, mm -hmm. starting to get swarm. Mm -hmm. Holy it sounds as if I speak of a creature from a storybook, but this is no creature of myth and lore. It is a very real animal that since the mid-1980s has become one of the Southwest's most notorious threats. Killer bees. So what is a killer bee? Well, to keep it simple, it's basically a hybrid between an African and a European honeybee. They are typically more defensive faster, and more aggressive than other bee species. Tucson, Arizona is just one of the places that has recently fallen under the cloud of killer bees. And today we will be working alongside bee specialist Chris Britton. Chris monitors several killer beehives that exist naturally in the mountainsides. And our goal is to extract aged honey from a wild hive so we can compare it to his locally farmed honey and determine which one is more delicious. Using a drone will help us locate the hive and determine exactly how we should approach it. This is an incredibly dangerous mission. So to protect ourselves from the thousands of bees that will be swarming and trying to sting us, we will be wearing bee suits. We are taking extra precautions by taping up the wrists and ankles to ensure the bees cannot work their way into the suits. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. We are completely suited up. This is probably going to be one of the craziest and most dangerous things we've ever done on an episode of Breaking Trail. The following scene was filmed under the supervision of bee specialists. Never approach a beehive in the wild. Okay, Chris, so this is kind of our last checkpoint, about as close as we feel comfortable getting without the bees actually swarming out. Now, I'm looking at the hive and I see there's lighter colored comb on top. In the middle, it's slightly golden. And then at the bottom, it almost looks like it's brown. What's the best area for me to extract comb and honey from? Well, we're gonna go right to the center of this hive. Okay. So not in the dark and not in the completely light. Okay. So that light stuff is not gonna have anything in it at this present point in time. The bees are working more into the layers of comb. Okay. So you're gonna go right to the basically the middle where it's a little bit golden, but it starts to just turn just a little bit and there's some capped honey right there. Okay. It may be last season's honey, but it's right there is where the bees are gonna be working and, and we'll be able to just get in there and grab a bunch. Okay, cool. Well, I think uh, at this point, let's get into the hive and get this honey. You guys all ready? Cutting into the hive causes no harm to the bees, and this extraction method is commonly used by honey farmers. In the wild, hives are often invaded by animals, which in turn causes an increase with productivity, and in a matter of days, the hive will be completely reconstructed. Okay, I'm right underneath the hive. Whoa, look at that. Do not want to get stung. Bees are starting to come out. You can see all the comb here. I know we're here. They definitely know that we're here. You hear them? I can hear them. They're going crazy. How hard is it? Wow, it's hard, very waxy. Starting oh boy, starting to get swarm. Holy mackerel. I'm nervous. You see they're trying to sting in through the mask. Here they come. This is an outer layer. Dude, you're like covered in bees right now, man. Crazy covered in bees. Okay, I'm gonna see if you gotta hurry up. We are absolutely surrounded by killer bees right now. Fortunately, they are not singing through the suit. I got a couple of good pieces of comb that have already come out here. There we go, found comb with honey. 
Some stingers are actually getting through my suit. I am getting stung at this point. Ow! Jeez, okay. All right, I'm gonna cut out a big section of comb from right here in the middle, can you see this? That is all filled with honey. I'm gonna cut through that and we're gonna get out of here. Oh, it's sticky. This is it, this is good honey. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. Woo! Is. That is pure golden honey. All right, I'm gonna put it inside of the mason jar here. Ow. Ow. Okay. Yep. Done. Here, let's back up a little bit. Wow. I can't even imagine what it would be like to be out here and come across a swarm like this. This could definitely kill you. We are probably surrounded by 30,000 bees at this point. I mean, it's it's absolutely crazy. They're attacking the GoPro, they're attacking the cameras. Microphones. Microphones, everything is getting bombarded by bees right now. It's hard to even touch the camera because they're just covered in bees. Like you can't even hit the... It's crazy. Wow. All right. Look at that. That's about what we want right there. Good honey. Woo! That is absolutely filled with honey. Yes. So what are we doing here, Chris? Um, basically covering the air with smoke so that way we can actually get these bees to change their pheromones so you guys can walk away. Because they'll fall to our car. Oh, they'll, yeah, they'll sting you all the way to your car. The Africanized honeybees know no limits. I can't even imagine what it would be like to be out here and come across a swarm like this. This could definitely kill you. Wow. Well, we escaped the swarm of killer bees. Now the next step is to compare the killer bee honey to the European bee honey and see which one tastes better. To the victor go the spoils. What you are looking at right there are two jars of delicious raw honey. Now right here we have honey bee honey and on this side, the killer bee honey. Now, we certainly had to go through quite the ordeal to get both of these honeys. They're all in my face. We are absolutely surrounded by killer bees right now. But it was totally worth it because this is the moment we have all been waiting for. The comparison between killer bee honey and honey bee honey. Which one is better? You guys ready to find out? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I, do we get to taste test also? Oh yeah, you guys are gonna taste this too. Okay, I'm gonna start with the honeybee honey. Let me take off the cap here. Wow, that smells incredibly fresh. A big spoonful right there. Oh wow. I just go for it, right? I, I think you go for the whole thing. Mm. Wow. <laughs> That's sticky. Ooh, really sweet. I can taste all those granules of honey. I'm starting to disintegrate my mouth. Wow, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. That is an unbelievable honey. That might be the best honey that I have ever had. Here, let me get a little bit of this honey on the tip of the knife. There you go, go ahead there, Mark. Just take a little Don't cut myself. squidge off there. Uh, yeah. Good? That's good, huh? Wow. You could eat that straight like all day. Wow, I took a big spoonful of that. Okay. You feeling the sugar rush yet? Yeah, I think I'm about to. Now this is the what I've really been excited about. Now let me get a big get a gooey one. Talk of it out here. Yeah. Let me just scoop some out onto my hand. Yeah, find, find yeah I'm going full poo bear here, guys. And get my paw in there. Oh yeah. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. Oh, look at that, honey. Look at, the, look at the different colors in the honey, too. You have the darker honey, and you have the real light golden honey. Think it's gonna make me throw up? No. No, man. No. That's okay. like candy. Ready? Whoa! That is crazy sweet! Put the rest in there. Can you do a whole month? Can you do the whole cone? Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Now you're Pooh Bear. Hey Pooh Bear, how's that taste? Very sweet. Very sweet indeed. <laughs> it's like almost making my eyes water so sweet. Bravo, I'm impressed. That was that was quite the honeycomb you just had there. Let me wipe off my face a little bit here. Yep. A little more presentable. Wow, that is so sugary. 
I'm gonna be a major sugar high for hours right now. Woo! You guys wanna try this, right? Yeah. All right, stick your finger out there. Just mm. wait till it gets in your teeth. As soon as it hits your lips. Wow. Right? Now, both of these honeys taste amazing, but honestly, I think the killer bee honey is a little more tasty and a little more, give me a rush of energy like the second that it hit my mouth. Um, but I think both types would be excellent on anything that you would put them on. Although going to get killer bee honey is something that I can never recommend anybody out there watching ever try and go do. Probably the best way to do it is to buy from a local honey farmer and have something that's pure and granulated just like this and you put on toast, you can put it on, you name it, honey goes good on absolutely everything. Ah, I can totally feel like a sugar <laughs> rush coming on right now. Woo! That is crazy. <laughs> My hands are so sticky. Hey, Pooh Bear. What? Didn't you get enough? No. How'd that silly old bear get his paw into that jar of honey all the time? Well, he didn't get his paw stung by bees yesterday. Yeah, I got a fat paw right now. Watch this, two bee honeys at the same time. Uh, oh. Double block! Oh. <laughs> hey, full honey face. Mario, there aren't any bears out here, are there? Building, climbing in a honey tree. Pooh bear, I know he's out there. It's me and it's you. Oh, silly old Winnie the Pooh. Well, I would say that we endured quite a bit to get both of these honeys up close for the cameras. Aside from wearing the bee beard, which resulted in me being stung 32 times, to then scaling the side of a cliff to extract comb and honey from a killer beehive, we went through it all to do this taste test. And at the end of the day, I have to say that the killer bee honey is actually the most tasty. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. One more handful. Mm, that's a good hunt. <laughs> there are many misconceptions surrounding the Africanized honeybee, or as they have become famously vilified by so many, as killer bees. Nearly all attacks happen when a hive is accidentally disturbed, or a swarm is provoked by a non-professional who is attempting to exterminate it. And while many people are stung every year, very few deaths are actually reported. If you see a swarm or come across a hive in the wild, quickly and quietly move in the opposite direction. And if you are looking for some delicious honey, well, my advice is to support local and buy it from a honey farmer. If you thought getting swarmed by killer bees was intense, make sure to go back and see what happened when I tried to trade in my fur beard for a bee beard. And don't forget, subscribe, so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Okay. Throw up my face, my eyes. Oh man, my face hurts. Oh man, you should see the sting you have in your neck. <laughs>